it's really honorable just to like kind of start working with my dad and it's very different like environment so it's and to like keep up his legacy is just something very endearing that I like to do and hopefully I'll keep it on for the next 20 plus years with like he has and for her hopefully her kids <laughs> and uh, and theirs <laughs> Working with my dad was great. I started working in the sheds when I was nine years old. Uh, minimum wage was three dollars, three dollars <laughs> and change for minimum wage. That's when I started. So I worked uh, in all sorts of capacities at the shed, cleaning, making boxes, making bags, doing doing all sorts of stuff. And uh, my dad never let me work in the office until I graduated college. So I never had an office job. I never sold anything. Um, so when I came to work after college, uh, I started and uh, we ended, me and my dad ended up growing the business uh, into what it is today. Um, and I'm just ecstatic that my daughter's uh, here with me and, and I, looks like my son's in the second year of college and looks like he wants to come in. So we're, we're looking forward to him graduating, coming uh, also into the family business. It's kind of nerve wracking to think about it's like as a woman and like someone so young, you're still trying to learn and everything and you don't want to misstep and like ruin your reputation but it's very amazing to see what I could do within the industry and see how it can like change progressively and not just grow Tex-Mex sales but grow onions as a woman all over the United States so it's pretty pretty cool. <laughs> it's never a dull moment in the in, in produce you know we've been doing this I've been doing this for 20 some years on onions and, and I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to give people employment and produce something and that's, that's why I do it because I do enjoy producing onions and I, I like that I have to employ people to do it and, and to harvest it and, up, and to haul it and, and then get it to you, the shelves for you guys to eat. But you know, it's, it, gets a good, it gives a good satisfying feeling um, to do it and that's, that's what I get out of uh, what I do. It feels good to produce something and, and be able to employ the same people every year, even though we only go maybe six months of the year and we're able to employ people for that shorter period. Those people, you know, the same 30, 40 people work for us every year, you know, and, and there's, there's, a, there's a core people that have been with us for 30 it, years. Yeah, yeah, one of them's been with me 30 years and my dad and the other people have been here since we moved here in 2008. So, you know, the same people work and it's, it's kind of a family. that we do our best every day to get you guys the best onion quality from, from the field to the packing shed all the way to the consumer. Um, for me personally, I guess for them to learn how what an onion is, how it's grown, to kind of appreciate the whole process of it, just, um, just kind of learn. Because when you go to the store, you just kind of buy it, you just expect it to be there, but it'd be nice for the consumers to kind of know the whole there's a lot more that goes through to get that onion into the store. So. It takes six months from when we plant it to when we harvest it, you know, between five and six months to get it. And it takes a long time, you know, it takes it to get it up out of the ground and take care of it. And, you know, but that's what we do. And, you know, the main thing is, is we enjoy giving our Texas 15, 15s to, uh, you know, to any, you know, we, we distribute them around the country and we hope that uh, the consumers appreciate it and like them. And, uh, that's why we do it.